Hi, it's Leontine from Little Lovely Crafts. Today's card is my first ever center picture window card and it features some jungle animals having a birthday party. I stamped and colored all of these images yesterday evening. Now I know some of you would like to know which Copic colors I used, so I've listed them on my blog. I went ahead and die cut all of these center picture window parts and I'm uh, going to color them using some Distress Oxide inks. I used my scoring board to enhance those folding lines so that my cardstock stays intact when I fold it. Since it's a jungle I wanted to go with some blue green tones and I used Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio, Peacock Feathers and Lucky Clover. As always I will go back and forth between the colors to get the ideal blend. I'm inking both the front and the back of the panels because I don't want the card to get too bulky and I will do the same color pattern on both sides. I'm also putting it on the glue tabs, normally I wouldn't be, but because I'm not putting any additional paper or cardstock there, you might see them and if they're the same color as the background you don't notice them as much. Even though I was very careful, I managed to get my hands very dirty, so I'm using a baby wipe to get most of it off. I'm using my liquid stardust with water mixture to make some splatter on the background and I'm picking it up with some paper towel. And now I need to let my panels dry entirely before I continue making my card. I'm using some score tape on those glue tabs. I'm securing that tape with my bone folder to make sure that it stays where it needs to stay. And then I can assemble my center picture window card, like Kelly Marie showed in the Lanfon introduction video. I cannot believe how easy it was to put this all together. So now this is done, I can start to decorate my card with all of those stamped and cut images of mine.
In the sketch that I made of this card, I added the banner on the inside of my card, but it didn't really fit here with all of those images. So I decided to change up my idea and just attach the sentiment on the front of the card. With all of the images glued on the inside, I can put some white gel pen accents on them. For the happy birthday sentiment I used some white embossing powder on some black licorice card stuff. I used the everyday sentiment banners to make a perfect banner. I'm adhering that to the front with some foam squares and then I can decorate my front of the card with all of the images I have left. After adding the white gel pen accents, I decided I wanted to do something with the birthday theme. To give it more of a birthday feel, I added some gifts to the card. And I had these already stamped and colored a long time ago. I think they're from the Holiday Party Animal and from Ho Ho Holidays and maybe also from Yeti or Not. I'm using a precision knife to cut out that arm of the monkey so he can actually hold the gift.
and that finishes up my card. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon to get notified when my next video is up. Have a wonderful day. Bye!